Hi there, this is Vicki Runketty from Showdog Prep School. In this little video, we're gonna talk about the judging program and how it works. So I'm gonna open up and share a judging program on my computer for you to look at so we can go through it together. So generally, the first page, the first few pages are just gonna be all of the specifics about the dog show. So that's gonna include the addresses, it's gonna include Whoops, went down a little low. It's gonna include things like uh, just the different classes, any special things that are going on. Like in this one, you could see that they're having four to six month puppy. So they mentioned that on there. Um, they have a dedication here. They have the information down here about when they're having, uh, you know, which is each show. So Saturday is this show going on. Sunday is this pages and show going on. So it's going to have all that, all that information. Most of this information will already have also been on your premium list, but it just gives you all the specifics again. This is a big show. So you could see their listing here, concurrent specialties. So that means that there's going to be specialties going on at this show. So these um, could be separate little shows, but a lot of the times, um, a breed will just have their specialty or their national at a dog show. So the breed for that breed judging for that show is their specialty. So we've got some of that, um, more specialty supported entries. So supported entries are when the show still belongs to the main club that's putting it on. So in this club, I believe it was St. Petersburg dog fanciers. So this is still their show, but supported entries mean that these clubs have basically said, we'll give you an, a, a good entry for those breeds. Those shows probably donated prizes or those clubs probably donated prizes. Those clubs uh, may have had a say in the judges for those breeds. So it uh, it's nice. It just also makes, um, you know, a good entry for a breed at a show. So this is new. This is all the COVID-19 policies. So you want to make sure you read through those. You want to make sure that you know how to be in compliance and, and please, please follow that, those rules because we want to be able to still have shows. And in order to do that, people are going to need to follow the rules. Then we've got directions to the show, the show veterinarians. We have a um, little bit of more information here about COVID and just some basic stuff. Then you've got a list of all the judges and their addresses. Then we've got some ads. So now we get down to the sort of bulk of it here. I'm gonna be looking at Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. So you can see that you've got the breed here. Then you've got the ring and the time for each day, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you've got Let's look at Affin Pinchers here. So there's the breed. They're going to be on Wednesday in ring 10 at 1225. Now, that doesn't mean they're going to go right in at 1225. We have to go to that ring to look up the information. So let's go down to Cavaliers. So they're right here, Cavaliers. So let's look for Wednesday. They're going to be in ring 5 at 1030 a.m. So now we're going to go down here and look for ring 5 for Wednesday. So this is Wednesday, there's ring four, there's ring five right here. So we see that Cavaliers start at 1030. Now they're the first breed going in. So that means that they truly are going to be going in at 1030. So if you look down here, let's say you were looking at Gordon Setters you will see that the 145 Gordon Setters are listed, but they're going to go after three wire hair pointing Griffons and two wire hair Vishlas. So they've got five dogs ahead of them. So you've got about 10 minutes, but you should always be there when your ring time is, even if you think you have plenty of time, because you don't know if the other dogs are going to show up. I've missed my ring time because I wasn't there and those breeds didn't show up. So back to Cavaliers. 10.30 a.m., we've got 50 Cavaliers entered in ring five. We've got your judge here. And then we're gonna look at this breakdown here because this is the part that confuses a lot of people. So let's talk about these numbers here. The 16, that's the first number. That is the number of class dogs entered. So boy dogs going for points. 
So that's a major, that's a good entry, right? So you'll need to look at your point schedule to see how many points it is, but we know at this show the entry is 16 class dogs. The next number is the number of class bitches. So that means that we've got 16 class dogs and we've got 24 class bitches. That means 16 dogs are going for winner's dogs and 24 bitches are going for winner's bitch. Then you've got eight. That is the number of male specials. So eight champion dogs, already champions. They're not competing in winner's dog, but they are competing for breast of breed. Then we've got two bitch specials. So you've got class dogs, class bitches, male specials, bitch specials. That's the breakdown. So you can see that they've given quite a bit of time because they're gonna do Cavaliers and then they're gonna take a break for lunch. But that's the most important information you need to know. And you can go through and do the same thing for the other days. Now they'll sometimes have a separate so you could see that they're having a toy dog show here. So that's going to be going on in these rings here. So it looks like there's a concurrent show. And then look, we've got Cavaliers again. So they're going to show at 8 o'clock for this show. We've got 16 dogs, 23 bitches, 6 male specials, and 1 bitch special. Now again, that doesn't mean that's everybody who's gonna show up, but that's what we've got. And that's done for every single breed. Now sometimes you'll have different areas where they talk about owner handler, so you need to look at the time for that. You may need to look up when the group times are, but all of that can be found in here. So I hope that helps you to understand the judging program and what all that information means and how to sort of get through it. And you can get more information from showdogprepschool.com.